tonight, the community hub trashed seven firearms stolen and police pelted with rocks and bottles. New homeowners told there's no room left for them to connect to broadband internet. A road racer sets a blistering pace despite spending the previous day sick in bed. And Joe Williams names his next big challenge a day after winning a world boxing title. This is Prime 7 News with Natalie Forrest. Good evening, welcome to Prime 7 News. Also tonight, flood victims hit again, this time by insurance premiums too costly to afford. And Joe Williams talks about his future after claiming a world boxing title at the weekend. We'll show you more in tonight's sport. A teenage boy has been charged with trashing a local community centre. Police found him covered in paint, the same colour thrown around Ashmont's community centre on Sunday. That's just one of the teens facing charges after a weekend riddled with crime. This is just a small part of the damage done to the Ashmont Community Centre early Sunday morning. A centre set up to help the young and poor. It's the council's also fixing the free flight Avery. That'll happen in April. Now we turn our attention to the weather and here's Maddie with the details. Thanks, Nat. It should be fine and sunny yet again across our region tomorrow as we do continue to be affected by this high pressure system. But hopefully we will see some rain developing on Wednesday and Thursday as a trough does make its way across Victoria and New South Wales. It should cool down later in the working week as well. I'll have all the details for you shortly. Locals are being asked to have their say on a plan to play music on Narandera's Main Street. That's next on Prime 7 News. Plus, do you remember the song, The Girls on the Avenue? Then you'll recognise the Aussie icon in front of a big crowd at Tumberfest. Here's next. You're watching Prime 7 News with Natalie Forrest. The news more people choose. Tumperfest organisers hope to attract even bigger headline acts in coming years. More than 5,000 people attended the two-day festival. It was hot, but nothing a cool drink couldn't fix. The annual duck race went down to the wire. And local the program runs out in December. It's hoped the Abbott government uses the May budget to show its support. Antonia Morrow, Prime 7 News. Sports up next on Prime 7 News. One of the region's best battles illness as the Tour de Riverina kicks off. And what's next for Joe Williams after claiming a world title in Wagga? That's next on Prime 7 News. Wagga's Joe Williams plans to return to rugby league. Now he's won a world boxing title. The former NRL star turned boxer won his WBF title fight at Bolton Park. But now the gloves are off, at least for the coming league season. He's our newest world champion. Joe Williams won the belt on a split points to... Uh, we've got Stock and Bingle coming up in three weeks' time. So I'm just going to keep training the way I have been, sort of doing that sort of 6 to 6.50 kilometres a week. And, yeah, hopefully I don't, don't get sick before this, the next race. We'll find out on March 16. Simon Anderson, Prime 7 News. It was a busy weekend of sport. Make sure you tune in to Prime 7 News tomorrow. We'll go through the Wagga cricket highlights heading into finals, as well as Wagga's latest dominant win in the O'Farrell Cup. We'll also have all the action from local softball and the makeup of the finals, plus the winners and losers from the Formula Powerboats on Lake Albert. That's coming up this week on Prime 7 News. Well, you'd have to be brave to get in the water while those powerboats were making waves. But for some locals, it was just another day on the lake. A nice day too. We'll check weather next on Prime 7 News. I'm James Tobchin, promising a sunny day to all who sign up for World's Greatest Shave. Hello again, Madeleine Cullingyong with you. I hope you all had a lovely start to the week and how could you not with the lovely weather we had across our region today? Blue skies, a light breeze and temperatures were rather pleasant too. Well, remaining warm at 31 and on Friday the chance of rain does drop but Wagga could see a couple of millimetres cooling down to 28 degrees. Nat?
Thanks, Maddie. Here's a look at the River Heights now. The levels have all fallen since Friday. A big fall at Wagga, down 34 centimetres. And even the usually stable Chimut River is down to 0.9 of a metre. And just before we go, here's a recap of tonight's top stories. Wagga police have had a wild weekend. They were pelted with bottles and rocks outside a wild party. A 16-year-old has been charged with breaching his bail in the process. New homeowners in Wagga are being told there might not be enough ports for them to connect to the internet. And local boxer Joe Williams says he's putting away the gloves until after the footy season's over. And thanks for your company. That's the latest from the local news desk, but the news continues. And don't forget, we're also online where you can have your say and watch some of tonight's stories. I'll see you tomorrow at 6, but now Prime 7 News at 6.30 with Danny Gibson.